Hiya, welcome to my channel. Um, if you don't know already, my name is Danielle and I do makeup tutorials like every other makeup artist out there. Anyway, so today I filmed this kind of bohemian festival glitter tears fortune teller slash excuse to wear this coin thing on my head tutorial um no it's been a lot of fun i actually got the chance to use the subculture palette by anastasia beverly hills it is a beaut i will show you it obviously i've used it so but yeah it's a beautiful palette i really loved it um i will break down what colors i used i'll list everything below that i've used i'm kind of going to do this video a little bit different to my other ones so i'm not going to be talking for actually doing the makeup because I'm not very good at that part. Um, and then I'm just going to take photos of the things and like circle the colours I use, blah, 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 blah. Um, let's just get into it, eh? So the first colour we're going in with today is this beautiful Dawn colour. We're using this as a base so that when we work with other shadows, it's just going to blend in really nicely. I always put on like a transition colour, so I just find it helps to blend those other colours. So now we're going in with this beautiful mustard colour Edge. I'm using the same brush now and it's just really going to help to sort of create this nice sort of background and this beautiful mustard colour. You want to use quite a lot of shadow and you do want to blend it quite high to the brow bone as we're applying another two colours in the crease and we kind of don't want it to get lost we still want to see it if you're finding that you're not getting enough payoff do circular motions like i just was and this is going to help sort of get a bit more payoff in that area for you also you're going to find that you probably don't need to double dip with these eyeshadows as that is such a high payoff so now we're going in with that beautiful destiny color which is a lovely khaki color um, and we're just going to use a smaller brush now to sort of work into the socket and into the crease so the reason that i use a smaller brush is because i really want to blend it further into the socket i don't want to lose that mustard color which is my biggest learning curve as a makeup artist is to actually use smaller brushes and press a little bit harder and then you won't overtake that sort of mustard or the previous transition color that you've put on um, but still create a blend because you want it obviously to look blended and all seamless but you don't want it to uh, overtake it at the same time and if you do like i just think i had done i'm putting a little bit more that mustard color on again so now we're going in with that beautiful axis color we're yet again using a smaller brush this time i'm going to be pressing even harder and if you look i'm actually working closer on my lid into my socket not my crease into my socket just because yet again i don't want to now lose either that mustard color or that khaki color that i've just put on but I still want to blend it in as I still want it to look seamless and beautiful. But I don't want the powers to overcolor, um, overtake each other or anything like that. So you just really need to blend. Now I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. And I'm actually just using a brush that I got from Sally's, to be honest. I think it was a nail brush. Um, it's just really flat. I would suggest using a sort of like eyeliner brush as well. That will work just fine. Um, so with this you kind of just want to start in the inner corner and just work your way out let the brush kind of take you along just do natural hand sweeping action use a light amount of concealer first and build it up and also start off in the like I say the inner corner and work yourself outwards you want to start off with quite a sheer coverage and sort of taper it out to the end to kind of make it a little bit lighter as that's going to help to blend it in with a darker color that I'm going to put there later so now I'm going with this beautiful electric colour. I keep saying every colour is beautiful because they are, but this is literally my favourite. I think it's the most beautiful colour. I'm obsessed with yellow at the moment um, and glitter. So this is the part where Marcus comes in, as you can see from my face, and he comes to annoy me now. Yeah, that's my boyfriend, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's him. So with the eyeshadow back to work, um, you just really want to pack it on and build it up. Um, I did find it didn't have as high a payoff as all the other colours, which I was quite sad about. But it's such a beautiful colour that I don't think it matters. And there he is again, this time with the dog. Poor little girl. Aww, kisses. <laughs> now we're going in with that beautiful rowdy color which is the darkest color in the palette and we're just going to use it in that outer corner 
corner to really smoke it out um i don't think i could do a look without using something dark to just kind of add that sultry look and you just want to go back in with that sort of turquoise color um not turquoise sorry khaki color and just really sort of blend it so it hasn't sort of just got white next to black you want to create like an almost ombre to just make it look as nice as possible you can go back in with that electric color as well if you want to sort of go on top of it to sort of blend it in a little bit more so now we're going in with this beautiful fudge colour. Oh no, sorry, we're going in with edge now, which I'm using as the inner corner colour. I didn't really think I was going to like this colour, um, just because it has pink in it, and I thought it wouldn't really go with the look, but it really did. Now we're going in with fudge. Um, I really like this colour. I didn't think it would be that different from all the other browns that I have, but it is really nice in the fact that it's really chocolatey looking, um, and it's got quite a nice like red undertone to it. So with this, I was quite um, working it out and blending it in. But to be honest, I didn't really need to. I don't know what happens to my camera at this point. It just gets really dark for no good reason. Um, apologies. We're now going in with the Dawn. This is the reason I didn't really need to work fudge in that much. Because if you look, just by putting a Dawn in, it has quite a lot of fallout. But it works well because it just really helps to make that look really blown out and smouldery. So now we're using Teddy Eye Pencil, you just really want to keep going over with this, build it up, make it as dark as possible. Teddy's a really nice colour, it's sort of a brown with a red undertone and it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. So it just looks really nice in the waterline um, and just helps to create that sort of smouldery look. I'm now going in with the Glitterized Glitter in Gypsy. This is probably my favourite glitter that I've ever used. Um, it's really nice and chunky you just want to i'm applying it with the brush that came with it the glue that came with it um and you just kind of want to create like tears almost i did have to double dip and all that to get this amount of glitter on so don't think you're doing it wrong if it doesn't come out like this at first i'm now going back in with that kat von d locket concealer and i'm actually creating like an almost v shape at the bottom of the tears just so that i can sort of make it look more drippy and less blocky um and yeah just blend it out of a beauty blender so that's the finished look guys look at me being all posy and loving myself so thank you for watching my tutorial i hope you guys liked it if i've missed anything or you want to know please comment below like i said i've done it a little bit different this time so any sort of like feedback is really helpful please subscribe if you like or if you don't still subscribe um and yeah until next time hopefully i won't wait so long and we'll be a little bit more inspired. See you later, alligators.